Dear viewers, welcome to this edition of Your Life, Your Money. In this episode, I am going to talk about three stages in your career, the earning phase of your life and discuss how these phases will have an importance in creating a success story or a disaster in your life. The points that I am going to discuss here today is what I have observed during my last 30 years of interacting with people. Stay till the end of the video, I am going to discuss a lot of finer points, how life evolves between these three stages of the career. This is NRI Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Khan, but your financial guide for a happy living. NRI Money Clinic. No hype. Just the right advice. Let's look at your earning career a little bit in detail. I divide this into three phases. A phase between 25 to 35. If somebody has joined the workforce before 25, you can include yourself in this category. 25 to 35, I call it as a period of experiments and experience. Then comes the mature phase of 35 to 50, a period of choices that you make, which dictates whether you become a victim of these choices or you become victorious because of the choices that you make. Period of 50 to 65 the closing phase of your career is a period of achievement disaster or stagnation let's look at these phases a little bit in detail how people will evolve during these periods and what happens and how you can come victorious if you are on the right path first let us examine the first phase of your working career 25 to 35 this is a period of experiences and experiment. Hitherto you are in the clutches of your parents. Now you have an income. You are no more dependent on parents. But you don't have an experience of real life. You are habituated to taking guidance from your parents. When you get that salary, most people ask their parents what to do, where to park, all these questions they ask. Parents most of the time are the old generation people and they try to guide these youngsters in the old ways. But times over a period of time change, there are new things which will keep coming and the parents can guide them without their knowledge into wrong side of financial planning. For example, one of the common advice the parents give to these young children is that you go and buy a house very early. This can become a burden on these children and it can sow the seeds of failure or a struggle during this particular period. The other source of guidance for people will come from the peer group. So neither the peer have experience nor you have got an experience. You try to see what your friends have done, what your colleagues have done. If you get a good guidance or if you get a good role model, then you may pass through. But most of the times I can say looking at a peer group and taking a decision is not a good model to work with at this stage. You do not know what is right. You do not know what is wrong. So you experiment through this and with each experiment you try to learn something. This is a phase where in which you are curious. This is a phase uh, where you want to study a lot of things. You will watch YouTube videos. You will try to watch television. You try to make your own calculation. Basically at this point of time the amount of earnings that you have is lesser. You don't have a lot of money but you will have a lot of time at this age you try to see how i can reduce my expenses because the amount of money that you have is lesser you want to reduce your expenses and you want to create more profit you see a big herd of do-it-yourself investors at this particular age group because of this inexperience likewise people tend to do mistakes this is a phase you could be single this is a phase where in which you try to imitate you know you try to impress the other gender and you are trying to find your life partner. This is a period where people try to copy, imitate, impress and in this process things can become sour at this stage or it can sow the seeds of failure. You will have thousands of friends on your social media like Instagram, on uh, uh, Facebook and all these places. So you go through these phases and you learn through your mistakes. You learn through your experiments. There are people who learn. There are people who do not learn at this particular phase. If you learn quickly, you pass through you sow the seeds of success in your life. But if you do not learn well or if you make costly mistakes during this particular phase, this can carry on into the other phases of your life and can sow the seeds of failure. How do you say you have passed this phase of 25 to 35 in a successful way? There are few things which I can speak in a very general term. Number one, if you have added skill sets during 25 to 35, which will propel you 
into a higher career path, you can call yourself a successful person. If you are married early, even though it is very subjective, it's a better thing for you to build your life a better way in future. If you are married late or if you are not yet married by the age of 35, probably you are not that well positioned to take on from here onwards. Likewise, having children early in life has a beneficial effect for you in the sense that by the time you retire, your liabilities to your children will be over and you are well prepared to take up your retirement without much of a burden. So ask yourself question, have I married within this period? of time have i had the required amount of children within this phase of 35 years of life one another thing that you have to check is have you built a robust emergency fund it doesn't matter if you don't have a house it doesn't matter if you have do not have a great deal of stocks bonds and other things but what you must have by the time 35 years is a robust emergency fund i'm using this word carefully it is robust emergency fund not a casual emergency fund what people talk about one month two months six months requirement how to build the emergency fund the videos are there available on my channel please search for these videos and you can be guided on how you can build a robust emergency fund likewise you should not have any baggages of this particular age when you move to the other phase of life 35 to 50 when i say baggage of this particular age is too much of a debt too much of bad habits too much of a things that need to be done getting into all kinds of a problem you didn't uh, build any skills sets and you are struggling because of this these are called the baggages of this particular phase by the time you complete this age 35 you should be a mature person people who are mature will get into a much better life beyond this point now let us look at the second phase of your career the mature phase otherwise known as age group 35 to 50 this is a period of choices you make the choices you make makes you a victim of choice or a victorious output from the choices that you make. So you have to be very careful at this age of 35 to 50. This is a phase where you build on the good things that you have done between 25 to 35. For example, if you have added skill set or if you have built good soft skills, if you have moved up the ladder, it creates a pathway for you to build your career from here onwards. This is a time where your children are growing. This is a time where people go and buy a house. This is a time where people can do a lot of mistake and this can result in a midlife financial crisis. You have to be very careful about the choices you make. Should I buy a big house? Should I buy a small house? How much of debt I should take? Where should my children study? Don't get carried away by the emotional responses to it. Do not overspend on children's education. I'm not telling do not educate your children, but I'm trying to say here that do not overspend on children's education. Your children can become successful in life for various reasons even other than their formal education. The success of your children is primarily is because of the moral education that you give, the soft skill your children will get during their life. So excessive spending on very prestigious school, spending money that you can't afford can create a disaster for you. At the same time, this can raise kind of lifestyle issues in your children as well. Lifestyle can also exhibit at this age in various other forms. For example, the cars you can't afford, you will try to buy. You go on an expensive holidays, what you cannot afford. You don't have the required amount of money. You take debt, you take a credit card loan and you start spending. You get moved by what your colleagues or in the neighborhood or your community or relatives are trying to do. You try to imitate them. In the process, you get into a lot of debt on you. I can see, I can say with certainty here, this is a phase of complacency. Complacency because in the earlier phase, you have graduated well, but now you get a period of complacency thinking that I can do it. You will not worry about the consequences. You will not worry about what might go wrong. At this age, all that is required is you should at every stage when you make a choice, you should think what can go wrong. When you buy a house, you ask what can go wrong. If you buy a big house, what can go wrong? If you move out of the country or you move to another destination, ask what can go wrong. Every major decision you take in life, including taking a loan, you should constantly keep on asking what can go wrong and how I am prepared to handle that situation. If you get an answer that I, if this were to happen, I'm not in a position to handle that situation, you should shun away from that. The major mistakes happen because of 
the lifestyle issues when people try to imitate somebody else's lifestyle or when people increase their cash burn ratio that means you earn x amount of money and your cash burn should be in a manageable level but you try to overspend it you try to borrow money and then people have difficulties because they might lose job or the company where they are working may go through a troubled period it may lay off employees anything could be happening at that point of time so the choices you make here at this point of time should be careful and it can result in either a victorious position or you can become a victim of choices i have seen a lot of people creating disaster or losing position from a winning stance at this particular age be very very careful about the choices you make coming to the way how people spend money here or how the people invest money or what do they do the do it yourself crowd drastically falls down when they come to 35 to 50 there are a huge amount of people who are do it yourself at the age of 25 to 35 but this crowd drops why number 1 many people realize that it is not their cup of coffee the other group also finds it they are busy in their career they are busy with their families they are not able to give time to their families and they want an external help so you don't have a time and you need time for others and you outsource it to the financial planner this is what happens at this particular age how do you say you have passed this age of 35 to 50 as victorious number 1 you do not have too much of debt or the debt what you have is small manageable you have not unnecessarily scaled up your lifestyle you have tried your best even at this age to increase your skill sets to add more qualifications try to change job or learn something new you can call yourself victorious you may or may not have a house of your own because you don't have a house of your own don't consider that you are a failure you must have compartmentalized your investment by this time at age 25 to 35 i said you must have an emergency fund which is robust enough but at 35 to 50 your investments your savings should be substantial and they should be well compartmentalized and i say compartmentalized you should have money in your retirement pockets you should have money dedicated for your children's education you should have money earmarked for buying your house or you must have already bought the house if you have done this you can consider yourself as successful on the other hand by the time you retire 50 you still have a lot of debt this debt becomes difficult for you to clear through or you are getting stressed out because of this debt then you have something to worry about and a lot of people get into a midlife financial crisis because of the lifestyle upgrade be careful if you are passing through this stage ask yourself what can i do to create a successful financial life at this stage many people we have done videos on 35 to 45 age group and the video is very close to now uh, two videos we have done have crossed more than a million views why there is a million views i have always thought that's because of the mature phase of life you are worried you are concerned you want to give it a shape and a lot of crowds we keep coming to us asking for assistance comes from this particular age group reach out to a financial planner if you can't do things on your own most people can't do things on their own because either it is not their cup of coffee or they don't have time and they can't keep them themselves up to date with what needs to be done and people have a human problem also see they need an external force they need a hand holding they want somebody to push them they want somebody to inculcate the discipline in them so reach out to the financial planner at this stage and that can make a world of good for you the last of the phase in your earning career is between 50 to 65 honestly speaking there is nothing much which happens in the life of people at this age you don't add much of a skill you don't learn a lot of things you will build on the previous two stages of your life it is a phase where in which people move with success if people who are very successful between 35 to 50 that success will further continue into it people also stagnate if you have not added the uh, skill sets you will not move up the ladder your salaries will not grow greatly rise you can become a victim of layoffs so you might stagnate those people who had become the victims of midlife financial crisis will pass through a phase of disaster in this particular phase of life this is a period where i can say most of the people will come to the financial plan you hardly find a do it yourself investors at this age reason is one for people who are very successful 
they want comfort they want somebody to handle their finances they are busy doing their job they want that comfort they want to live like a maharaja they want somebody to assist in managing their money people who stagnate want a reassurance do we have enough money or not how do we plan our retirement what can go wrong what can we do people are concerned they are stagnant but many a times they could be a victim of circumstances also they want a reassurance people who are passing through a disaster phase nothing much the financial planners also can do but if they come to a financial planner at the right stage and they listen to us and if they take through the steps that we take them through even in such cases a genuine attempt can be made to create a successful financial life for them beyond that point of course they are crippled of course they can't be behaving like or we can't create plans for them like the normal individuals but if the external assistance comes and if they listen to us if they maintain the discipline if they maintain that hygiene what we talk to them then even at this stage probably things can be improved there as well if i have to summarize what i observed in the three phases few things will stand out one lesser the mistake you make in your life far better will be your financial life smaller the mistake you make it is easier to rectify the bigger the mistake you make it will carry forward and it becomes very difficult for you to come out of it so when you take a decision make sure what impact it can leave irrespective of at which age you are in that is why we say take the opinion of financial planners the biggest casualties the biggest problems happens because of lifestyle issues you upgrade yourself without knowing what might happen without knowing how it can create a disaster in your life how it can set your children into a wrong expectations or wrong path in the life lifestyle is a problem area whenever you upgrade your lifestyle i'm not telling you should not upgrade your lifestyle you should be cautious about what could be the consequences what can go wrong can i sustain myself don't become complacent and it can sow the seeds of failure in your life upgrade your lifestyle slowly steadily ask yourself what is the cushion that i have it can create victory for you or it can create disaster in your life one thing i have always thought about is the slogans of the fintech company the advertisement that they carry and they say that you become rich to such an extent by becoming a do it yourself investor theoretically the model is not wrong because you can put anything on the theory you can put anything on the excel sheet and show this will happen in real life really does that happen the answer is no because people don't invest like the way what fintech companies tell them to invest people are human beings they have the usual problems of fear greed and they don't know what to do at what point of time people just push it to next day people get carried forward people become a victim of what their friends say what their relatives say the cheap free advice comes from the society many times i have puzzled myself i have met a lot of people these people have worked with very small salaries but they have created very successful life they have not even invested in a mutual fund they have not touched the stocks they work with lesser salaries but they create beautiful life what stands out why did they create successful life why there are a lot of people with lot of salaries fail in their life why every do it yourself investor is not going to be a success story the success story of people is dictated by something else one discipline second thing living within the means third thing not becoming a victim of lifestyle these are the things which will stand out and which can create a success or disaster in your life i can say with certainty with confidence with my hand on my chest that financial planners have a utility in your life ethical planners experienced planners sensible planners if you are able to get it they can make a big difference in your life they can create success for you your financial planner may not get you a great rate of return but they take responsibility they guide you well they will make sure that you will reach all the life goals if you are a person who is convinced with my argument and you feel that your life should be helped with a financial planner you can make best use of services provided by team of experts from nra money clinic if you have an intention to use our services all that you have to do is contact to us through the number that is given here in the description box we have provided a link over there click on the link it takes you to the whatsapp send us an exploratory message someone from our team will connect with you and we will do our best 
to help you. Why delay? Send that message now. Dear viewers, now you would have understood the sculptor of your life is you, not anyone else. And how at different stages the choices you make, the options you exercise, the way you conducted yourself will script your success or failure story yourself. If it helped you to understand the path your career takes, please give me a thumbs up. Your subscription matters to us. Every time, a lot of people watch my videos and forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are somebody who is yet to subscribe for this channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Do not forget to share these videos with your friends and relatives, near and dear ones, and on all the social media and the WhatsApp groups you are connected with. Thank you very much for watching this episode on NRI Money Clinic. I shall be back with you next Friday with yet another thought on your life, your money. Till then, stay safe. Jai Hind. Press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel.